In this video, we'll be talking about synthesis reactions, specifically how to complete the following reaction. And you'll see it on the bottom right corner here. Mg plus O2 yields question mark, question mark, question mark. So how do we figure this out? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we'll take a look at the generic formula for a synthesis reaction, which is going to be A plus B produces AB, where we're taking two small things, and we're meshing them together to make a larger thing. Okay, that's the generic formula for a synthesis. Now for part two, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll take our two reactants, magnesium and diatomic oxygen, and we'll go ahead and we'll put them together, right? Since we're putting A and B together to make AB, let's go ahead and do that. So we end up with MgO. And we have to take a look at the oxidation states here of the Mg and the O so that we can determine if we have to do any crisscrossing. Okay, so magnesium, since it's a group 2 element, is going to have a plus 2 charge. You can find that on your periodic tables also. And oxygen, since it's a group 16, is going to have a minus 2 charge. So when we crisscross and reduce here, really all we end up with is MgO. Okay, the final thing we're going to do is we're going to balance this equation. It's fairly simple for this particular one. Since we have O2 on the left side, we have two oxygens on the left, and only one on the right. We have to put a, two of, a coefficient of 2 in the front of MgO. And then since we have 2 MgO on the left, that means we have 2 Mg on, I'm, I'm sorry, 2 MgO on the right, that means we have 2 Mg on the left. We simply change that, and that is going to be our balanced equation for our synthesis reaction. So again, number 1. We go ahead and we write out our general formula, number two, step two. We go ahead and we complete the formula with the oxidation states. And step three, crisscross, reduce, and bounce. 